a t shirt in the beach in the water. <clears throat> he uh, he unfollowed the Kardashian list. Yeah, Frankie, what what are your thoughts about this Yeezy jacket? It looked like stepped in gum. I don't like it, bro. Like, and he also bought Cardi B a diamond bracelet. He called it a cardiac. Cardiac. Everybody just is gonna remember what Nate Diaz did. Literally, Though everything was just irrelevant. Let's try that again. Well, hello, 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 my guys and my ladies. How are y'all doing today? This is your boy Crispy. We got Ozzy G. Frankie J in the place. How are my guys doing today? Uh, huh? vibing. Huh? Huh? <laughs> feeling real nice today. Feeling real bright. My bad. I was fucking choking over here. Jesus Christ. Pause. <laughs> uh, everything good in the hood. Like everything should be. You know what it is. Another day, another dollar. Everybody out there grinding out. I. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh no! I said. I said. I, I, I was vibing. I said it before you because you. You're choking. Pause. Thanks, bro. Do you know how to Pause. play that? The Just got it out ukulele? the way. You know how to play the ukulele? Ukulele? Yeah. Not yet. I still got to learn to play. <laughs> it's just up there. It says learn to play on it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. It was a Christmas if anything, gift. Right? If anything, we could put that on like Amazon. Like I'm going to put a link below. And you could purchase the same thing, the same backdrop. This bone that my dog has, yo, uh, it, it's a smart bone. And smart it goes bone. crazy. My dog loves it. At first, she was terrified, not gonna lie. Which dog? I have Lola? Uh, my, yeah, Lola, the little small one. At first, everybody was terrified of it. The, the dogs were all terrified. And Lola started attacking it more after I started because what, what it is is you have an app and you can either control it like a remote control car and like have it do tricks or you can have it on like self-driving mode and it just interacts with the dog by itself for like you can set a timer Dude. for 5, 10, 20 minutes. No, that shit's cool. My bro. dogs will fucking break that shit, nigga. It, it's, pro it's not good is for pit bulls. Is it like, durable? No, it's not good yeah. for pit bulls. It's, it's better for small dogs. But if if Word. if like they have like a tennis ball one, and I feel like that one would be cool if like for bigger dogs. I don't know, but I'm pretty Kimbo sure there's a breaks and rips and everything, bro. He rips everything. Yeah, everything. So, so does yeah. Chops is pretty bad, but uh, but yeah, if you do have a smaller dog, that shit is really good. The link for that one's gonna be below as well. But topics, 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 topics. Have y'all heard about Kanye in the news lately? Yeah. Yeah. For real? Yeah. What y'all hear? Yeah. He a bitch. He was wearing a t-shirt in the beach in the water. Um, he uh, he unfollowed the Kardashians. Oh, yeah. I remember and that. He paid. What's wrong with going to, to, to the beach with a, with a shirt on? On your face? No, it was, he, he was just—he was the only one with the shirt on in the water when they took a picture. He probably looks weird as fuck under that. That's what I'm saying. He's probably fat. But uh, yeah, he's, they were he's saying probably gain weight. Well, people were saying like, well, Kanye's the type of do weird shit. They're like, yeah, he probably got his Yeezys on on, on, on in the water too. <laughs> probably the, the Yeezy. got a full Yeezy him, outfit. I can see him wear those uh, the foam run the foam runners. The Yeezy oh, trucks. The one that's got the holes yeah. in it. Yeah, I can see him wear those. I heard those are really comfortable. You want them shits? I'm not gonna yeah, lie. They say that they Just say buy that some crocs. Yeah. Yeah, bro. What's wrong with that? Oh. What's wrong with that? You gonna wear something else that costs eight hundred dollars more than the regular crocs? Nah, hey, crocs are comfortable. I, I, I'll bro. get it. no. Like they're supposed to be re released. Like they just ran out of stock, so they got bumped up to like seven hundred dollars. But initially they were like sixty dollars. So like once they're once they're affordable, I'll cop them. Lucky my Crocs ain't near me. Show you what's up. Uh, yeah, I really like Crocs, yo. How old yeah, are Crocs? Anyways. I do. They're comfortable, bro. I wear Nike chunk leather. Yeah. So Yeezy finally um, dropped his first his first merch from uh, from Gap. 
And it sold out immediately. Should look ass. I synced it. Uh, check out that. Like everybody in Rhode Island masterpiece. bought that. Oh man, yeah, Frankie. What what are your thoughts about this Yeezy jacket? It looked like stepped in gum. I don't like it, bro. Like it's like a like if a little kid drew a, a one of those bubble jackets on a. Bro, what the fuck? Somebody. You see that shit? It's like that a garbage bag, high, bro. It's like a deflated <laughs> balloon, weather balloon. Shit like you in the sun too long, that shit gonna melt on your skin. <laughs> it looks like it did melt. Th- that shit, that shit look like that shit look like Ken's jacket from the Barbie series. <laughs> <laughs> look like a space suit. Would y'all cop? Yeah, I'll probably wear it. <laughs> that shit is. Wack. I'll throw some. I'll throw some Air Forces though. <laughs> that shit like 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 the back of it. You could put a hole in it and you could just pump that shit up. That shit look serious <laughs> if it's pumping up. Hell yeah! I don't what? know, bro. $200 I don't, I don't, for this shit? Yeah, I feel like if you're going to partner with Gap, I mean, Gap's not that not that cheap either. They got some expensive stuff in there, like $40 for like a pair of khakis or, or khaki pants or something like $40, which is crazy. Um, mm. But uh, it'd be, I thought it'd be crazy. Like Lil Yachty did uh, with Nautica. His shit was like, he made like a bunch of T-shirts. And they were all $40, $50, which is straight. He sent, Kanye had just put in one jacket out in this clothing department store for two hundred dollars. All right, I, let's be real. Let, let's granted be real. it sold out though. What, what what's the most y'all spent on a jacket? Probably like like sixty bucks. Mm. How about you, Ozzy? What kind of jacket? Like a hoodie? No, a, a a nice jacket. Like eighty bucks. But the highest I'm was like eighty bucks. One twenty if it's a nice jacket. I, I spent I spent one forty. I spent you can go to Burlington and get a nice coat for 60. Yeah, but like normal jackets are like 60, 80 bucks. Mm. So I, mm. I I I spent one. I, I spent 140 on a nice on a nice jacket. And I, I could see uh a designer jacket going for maybe nine hundred. I mean I'm you not know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for it being two hundred dollars, I, I I can see that being reasonable. Uh, for it being fashionably reasonable, I don't I don't see it. But yeah, but I'm saying like, would you buy? Kanye's, what's up? You would buy that? As uh, probably as like an investment, I'll look at it as as like a. a <laughs> Like I, I'll keep it, I'll keep it stashed in the shit because that shit will go up in, in, in price. That shit would probably be a thousand dollars. Wouldn't you Same think you'd sell more shoes. revenue by just putting like maybe like a little Yeezy logo on the t-shirt and just bust out like thirty different types of t-shirts, price them thirty dollars each instead of just selling the one jacket to a department store for two hundred? I think that's in the future. I think he has so much plans, but yeah, that shit would be fire. The Yeezy logo for for the Gap logo, yeah, that shit would look fire. I, I'll purchase those. That's what I'm saying. Like that's shit that. I would buy. I wouldn't buy that goddamn garbage. Maybe it's the maybe it's the cost controversy. Maybe it's for like everybody's gonna be talking about it. So y'all and, see one, and once every, yeah, once everybody's talking about it, not that everybody doesn't know that Kanye's with Gap. Like everybody already knows this shit. But anyways, like everybody's gonna be talking about this shit, and then they're gonna be like, oh well. Y'all, y'all, y'all played yourself because this is the real rollout, and then it's like what, what Frankie's saying is is mm. is gonna come into fruition. Mm. Uh, it's Kodak Black, yo, oh, honored. Jesus. Kodak Black was honored I was with for a Kodak. Like... Nah, hey, <laughs> he was honored with a Kodak Black Day in Broward County. It was his birthday, wasn't it? Yesterday. Yeah, he he released a, a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kodak album, oh, yeah. or like EP. <laughs> it was like a four track, four track album or whatever. Uh, I I was listening to a couple of songs. It wasn't bad. It was cool. It was all right. It was all right. Prime Kodak. Uh, and and he also bought Cardi B a diamond bracelet. He called it a cardiac. Cardiac. And Why? I, I don't know. Like they, they just like he just wrote on the on the post saying I hope you enjoy my 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 diamond bracelet or whatever. And um, what have you what are you doing if then if you that dude offset? Well, it's like 
They got well, you th- there is there is that thing that like are they open? Pa- Cardi B, <laughs> Cardi B success is kind of based on Kodak because oh, of, um, of the Bodak no Yellow. Yeah, and no blocking Bodak Yellow. No blocking. So I, I it may have been just a, a shout out or something, but. I don't know. Why it took so long. That song came out a while ago. <laughs> it was locked up the whole time. Damn, I I should have saved that information until after y'all y'all stated y'all opinion about the situation. Oh, but <laughs> <laughs> no, but but yeah, like how would y'all feel if y'all were Offset and and Kodak Black did this shit? But it goes, yeah, it, it is what it is. It goes again to like they're rich, so no matter. <laughs> yeah, she's but I guess if it was she gonna be like sucking my dick, nigga. Shit, what the fuck you talking about? So, all right, hypothetically, for that black Sancelia, a diamond bracelet. I go pawn that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't even think twice. Like, all right, whatever. I that's right. Gonna, I think Hopefully that's next time you send some money. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing with me. Uh, that's right. Double got child support. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's how you feel, Frankie? Yeah, I feel mutual. Mutual feeling there. And I'll call him a bitch too, because call that black a bitch. You want to even try to give me a ticket, bro? Like five, six, five, five. I think you could take him, Chris. Tickets. I'll, I'll save you. I'll save you from the headache, bro. <laughs> nah, that'd be lit, bro. If you could give me like front row tickets, like, like actually backstage passes. No, nah. I won't even put. No, I won't waste my time. All irrational therapy and shit. Fuck Kodak Black. <laughs> now it's a business trip, right off. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, Ozzy, I know, I, I know, you're gonna get so much flat from, or not flat. You're gonna get so much resistance from this. But I want to know who y'all think is on Florida's Mount Rushmore. We have Pitbull. four spots. Pitbull. Rick Pitbull. Ross. Rolf. Uh, I got to put Trick out there. I was about man. to say Trick Daddy got to go on gotta be right. He got to be right in the middle. Yeah. Trick Daddy. Mm-hmm. You're missing a forefather. Forefather? The one that started this in Miami. Started what? Started what? <laughs> I guess started Miami, like hip hop in general. Uncle Luke. Look at his face. <laughs> what, nigga? <laughs> Why you look like that? Uncle Luke got to be out there, right? Yeah, yeah no, I think so. I, well, I mean, that's just Miami, though, though. You know, though, but he, he did all right, well out. Florida. All right, all right, but yeah, we talking about Florida. Cause, yeah, we talked because we said Florida, we named fucking four Miami. Everybody from Miami. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so why am why Melly might replace Luke or what? Why am who? Oh, all right, come no, on, Chris. No, what no, the no, fuck? no, but for real, for real. Seriously, like, so we got. Trick, Pitbull, Rick Ross, and Luke. Those are the four founders. Nah, I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say, say it. Say it, bro. Because I honestly, I, all right, I'm gonna say, I honestly think Kodak replaces Trick. Oh, man, I'm fucking close this shit. Man, this. Kodak Black replaces Trick oh Daddy. Oh my God. Uh, I'm not gonna speak about this no more, then, dog. That's delusional, my nigga. Oh, What's yeah. The difference? Kodak had one good song. No, Kodak okay, didn't want to take Kodak out. Take Kodak out. Put T Pain. Let's say. T Pain. Yeah. Hey, he did. Hey. Oh, hey, he, oh, hey, he did, did oh, that. Tallahassee. That's that show that he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kodak right, is nowhere T-Pain. near of Mount Rushmore. He's Damn, what about Plies? He from Fort Myers. I was going to say Plies. I was going to say Plies because Plies was a movement. Uh, Plies put on a hey, Plies put Fort Myers on, bro. Ace Hood? 
I'd I take Ace Hood way before Kodak. Kodak's on a hill, bro. He ain't on no mountain, nigga. He just on a little hill right now. <laughs> going to, to jail, Kodak. going to jail so much fucked Kodak up. Damn, Trina. Mm, she just a dirty bitch. Nah. She just nasty. <laughs> She vanilla right. ice, bro. Hey, we got vanilla ice. <laughs> the one hit wonders. Oh, he can be on that Mount Rushmore. The one hit wonders. Kodak, vanilla ice. <laughs> <laughs> got All you. right. Nah, nah. That that's oh fair. Andre three thousand was born in Atlanta, raised in what? Born in Atlanta. He ain't Florida, cause raised in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. All right. So so we have born in Atlanta, raised in Atlanta. <laughs> that's what it said. It's listed here, my man. Florida. We have. Florida. For sure. Ross. Rick Ross. Mm-hmm. Pitbull, Pitbull is. Yeah, Pitbull Rick definitely. Daddy. Bro. Uh, Did we keep Trick Luke. Daddy? You said okay. Luke? Luke. And then, and then possible. Uh, flies. What was the other one? T Pain. I'm not gonna take T Pain there, but T Pain. Denzel Curry. Hmm. No. <laughs> so it's Plyde. DJ Khaled. He said no. D J Khaled. He's from, He's from Florida though. And he, he was in Miami. He's a uh, nah, terror squad from Brooklyn. What a whore! Oh. It's, oh, it says raised in Miami. What a mm-hmm. bitch. It's Plyde's better than Rick Ross. It's plot no. As far as output, no. It's plot's better than Pitbull. No. That's Mr. Worldwide, bro. Yeah, he better trick daddy. Plies. I was trying to trick daddy. I think so. <laughs> what? Like as far as like, I, I, I'm saying like output wise. Yeah. Album wise and and you know impact wise, not impact, but like uh-huh. plays. Looking at it like as an overall like career choices. Yeah, Plies was nationwide. What? Oh, it's your will boy Plies. I also look at man. Trick Daddy as the person that you could look at Trick Daddy as a person that showed us Ice Iceberg, or the person that held back Iceberg. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I remember yeah. Iceberg. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Iceberg. What die? That motherfucker was serious. Yeah, and, that's on that's on Iceberg himself. No, nah, I know, but Trick Daddy was the person that signed him and kind of helped him hostage because he wanted to sign to Rick Ross, and Rick Ross was supposed to blow him up or whatever. This shit was supposed to be like this shit was like ten years ago, but anyways, Trick Daddy. Yeah, I, I could totally see him being re- replaced by Plies. I don't. I I I'm not mad at that. Uh, and the, I, I think Luke is just up there, at, at, like, he's just already up there. He's the one that started that shit, dog. Yeah. He's the DJ uh, Khaled. <laughs> is T Pain better than Rick Ross? No, no, it's close. It's close. It's close. Is T Pain better than Pitbull? No, I don't no, think nobody's better than Pitbull on that. But thing, Pitbull's not know. coming off All of right, that list. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pitbull's up there. And, yeah. and is T Pain better than Trick Daddy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is T Pain better than Plies? Yes. I'm see. I'm thinking nationwide output, dog. That's what put Florida on. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. You good? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're taking Trick Daddy and we're placing it with Plies. He just wants Kodak up there so bad, bro. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you, yeah, Come on, yeah. bro, no flocking. Come I, on. I, I conven- I'm, I'm convinced that, uh, like T Pain and and Plies be like deserve to be up there more than Kodak. Um, but I mean, I think Kodak is entering possibility and conversation. Nah, he hasn't yeah. put no good music out, bro. There's nothing, like I said, a one hit wonder, my nigga. Have you listened yeah, Bobby to Bobby Murder was born? Have in you listened Miami. to Little Big P- uh, Little Big Pac? Little, Little Big, Big Pac, Pac. Yeah. bro. Took it up, Frankie. Frankie, have you listened to it? Mixed, it's a mixtape, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, it was good. I thought it was good. It was a good album. Yeah. Is it a mixtape was... mix uh, or album? I mean, it's a mixtape. But it, it's not a mixtape that like it, he uses other people's beats. It's it's basically an album. Yeah, it's an album. But is that What's the one that has too many years? Yeah, know. yeah. Don't don't listen to that song. But. <laughs> oh, 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 but it's a good album. Well, it's a good album. Oh, no, nah, I mean, it, I mean, that's a real song. But I, I, I just it's not a song that I, I'll listen. That's to how it sounds. Day. The way Frankie was doing that shit, I want well, no interest in it. That, I have, that was, I have no that was fire. <laughs> that was PNB rock. Yeah, it's PNB uh, rock. But, yeah. But anyways, no, okay. So so we got Rick Ross, Pitbull, Plies, and Luke. P Pain ain't up there. P Pain ain't Honorable putting in enough work yet. Honorable mention. Mm. Maybe give him like a little pebble on the side of the rock or something. Put like some garden gnomes around the Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Bro, I want to. I, I do want to replace T Pain with Rick Ross because I want to say I want to say T Pain gave us Auto Tune, and I'm not saying Auto Tune is the best thing in the world, but he innovated the game. What did Rick Ross do? Well, take him out of a fucking uh, take plies out then. Plies gave us four Myers though. You just want that's nah. where you. <laughs> nah, 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 that's nah, bias. Nah. I mean, no, no, no. That that that's totally that's totally legitimate. Um, What's legitimate? No, but, he gave but, you but, four but, Myers. No, no, no. It's legitimate that like it's take plies out for it's a fair It's a fair argument that yeah. Why 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 not plies? Um, but <laughs> do, do I get why I think T Pain should be up there? Yeah, I don't see why you take out the Port of Miami. Ross. But who are we taking out? Rick Ross or Plies? I'm taking out plies. That's cause, my vote. Because because what I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do is actually make this and I'm gonna put it on an Instagram tomorrow and my vote's plies to keep take out plies. And and this is supposed to like represent us. So okay, this is, so what's your vote? No, bro. That's what I'm saying. Well, you know mine. Should, should we give him a curveball and put Denzel Curry up in there? <laughs> Fuck no. We'll put Rod Wave up there. <laughs> He's born and raised in St. Petersburg. Oh, jeez. Ozzy, who do you think? What? Who do you think we should take out for T Pain? Plies or Rick Ross? Plies. Rick Ross. Take out Rick Ross? No, Plies, bro. Plies? Plies, yeah, because Rick Ross has more bigger hits than Plies. And he's still around. Or take Damn. out take, take out DJ Luke and put uh, T Pain. DJ Luke or Uncle Luke, my bad. <laughs> DJ Luke. I, th- I was thinking of DJ Laz. That's why in my head. <laughs> DJ Laz. Put DJ Laz up there. <laughs> yeah, right. I had the L in my head. <laughs> hey, I should put that shit. Nah. Uh, all right. Nah. Yeah. That. That's the. Those are the people. Rick Ross, Pitbull, T Pain, Luke. Even though I feel like we kind of being biased with Pitbull. What do you mean, Stop. Mr. Worldwide, bro? He put on for Miami. Just what do you mean? He, he. You were about to say Plies gave us four Myers. He's worldwide, bro. He's pop. international. That's he's international. worldwide. He's pop. He's what? He's pop. In Latin. What, that, what does that? What does that mean? Hip hop. Right, he makes he makes pop music. He makes hip hop music as well. You ever heard of any pitbull hip hop music? I I, I want to say he's the first one that infused rap or like hip hop, pop, and and reggaeton. Dribble dribble, Miami Heat's on fire. Dribble dribble, Miami right. Heat's on fire. Oh, no no no, I I, 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 I <laughs> no absolutely. But him being two thousand six when he championship. Dribble dribble, Miami Heat's on fire. Dribble, dribble. Nah, you know what? He's up there. <laughs> I, I, I think I think that motherfucker's gonna be that curveball. <laughs> he is the it. curveball. He is the He's curveball. only light skin on there, ain't he? No. <laughs> oh man speaking of curveball that <laughs> fucking culture three was <laughs> actually was to a major first. curveball i only listened to the juice world song on there and that was it really yeah that's what you think about the migos 
No, I didn't even know the Migos dropped an album. I didn't check it out. You didn't know the nah, You didn't know the Migos dropped an album. I said, oh, no, I said the Culture Four last time, didn't I? I meant to say the Culture you, Three. You, you did say the Culture Four, and I deleted that yeah. shit. Yeah, I, had, I, meant <laughs> say the, I meant to say Culture Three. Yeah, man, man. But I was right yeah. though. I said it was coming out around June, um, and it came out. Yeah, it. I, I guess it was your typical Migos album, yo. Yeah. Like yeah. After they all did their own solo shit. Whack. Uh, I, I I know you checked out that Polo G album. I did. <laughs> I know you did, bro. Polo I only listened G. to the first the first half of the the album. I didn't listen to the back half yet. Polo G dropped an album, Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. I didn't check that shit out. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna check it out. What did you think of it? I know. I listened it from number one all the way in. I didn't shuffle it. I listened to it all in order. Do you guys do that? Listen to it all in order whenever there's a new album or you you shuffle? I listen in order, yo. Like Yeah, I got to in order, bro. Yeah, like you gotta yeah. like the, the chef puts it a certain way. Flows. Yeah. Like especially when it says intro, because it usually is like they tell a story type shit. Yeah, I, like when like everyone the wants universal. Oh yeah. Cause he's got well, Morgan oh, Freeman in there. Yeah, it, like <laughs> they have skits for a reason and whatnot. Yeah. Whenever we went to Universal Studios, like my uh, my friend, she she started playing the J Cole album, and she put Shuffle. I didn't know until like the second song. I was like, this doesn't sound like that song. And then like I was like, did you put Shuffle? And I was like, what? Like that's not how you listen to an album? And for real, yeah. But anyways, yeah. I mean, no, I listened to the first half. Uh, the, he had a song on there with Dirk, who was pretty good. Uh, usually, you get a Dirk feature as a hit. <clears throat> um, ah, so Polo G's projected to sell more than Amigos. Yeah, I mean, he's got more hype around his name right now. Them old ass has Amigos. Ain't they about to be thirty? Come on, bro! Don't try the Amigos like that. You say you saying to me? Damn, are we getting old? Yeah, Migos was just hot. No, I'm saying they're old, like the no, like their darling. age. I know. I'm I not mean, talking about. I'm not talking about. But I'm saying no. I'm just saying Polo G's. He's the one that's got hype right now. You didn't hear nothing about the Migos talking about shit at all. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I don't think yeah. they do social media that, that uh, like other than just like events that they go to type shit. I think, uh, yeah. I think you make total sense. Polo G's <laughs> looking at 160,000. Uh, Migos looking at 125,000. Which is still good, around, though. Around there. Yeah. I mean, it's not too far off. Um, yeah. Kodak Black dropped that Happy Birthday Kodak album that had like four songs. Um, how do y'all think a song called Splash? By Tyga featuring Moneybag Yo was sound. Because that shit it. came out Friday. Probably you sounds like Rag City with Moneybag Yo on it. The what? I said it probably sounds like Rack City with money ba- featuring Moneybag Yo. <laughs> I wanna I wanna say it 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 uh samples Luke. So I mean we we gotta put Luke up there, yo. Uh <laughs> You got a snippet and, of that song? I didn't hear it. Uh, nah. <coughs> I mean, I could real quick. Nah, play hold it on, hold on, right nah, 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 nah. Uh, play it? Yeah, nah, nah, keep, going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Because we, we, we got to go in a little bit. Um, and, uh... All right. Hey! I seen, I, I heard this shit. That's enough. That's it. <laughs> See, I mean, I, anybody uh, but Tiger, bro. Anybody but Tiger, bro. Smack Man. that ass. Smack that ass. Clap that ass. Look at this. Grass. Cut it. <laughs> Fast. Rather hear that. 
Yeah, you know the song Memories by Maroon 5? Memories all alone in the moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> they came out with the remix. They came out with the remix with YG and Nipsey Hussle. Oh, I didn't I didn't fucking check out that fucking I was so, supposed to. Yeah, I I I just really hope that it, it was done correctly and and luckily it was it, it was some it was some cool shit I guess. Um who else? Oh, Jada Young and yo. Oh yeah, his he, twenty three came out the album. Twenty three back, right? What's it called? Yeah, twenty three is back. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be mm-hmm. honest with you. It kind of felt like I was listening to like a a little Uzi album. I didn't even check it out, bro. I didn't and know. And I just after like the third song, I was like, all right, I'm I'm out. And was it, it the just beats? Didn't hit the same. Yeah, and then his flow, like he was. Yeah, I don't know. Just, you want to hear a fun it, fact it, right now? What's up? You want to hear a fun fact? The, young in this. the last time Kendrick dropped an album, uh, Polo G, Roddy Rich, Pop Smoke, and Lil Baby didn't have any official music out. Damn, son, where'd you find this? <laughs> so you're saying Kendrick birthed all these motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. That that is a fun fact. <laughs> that's, nah, that's that's crazy, right? That's wild. Um, that nigga's ass but, cheeks and he can't rap anymore. So just say that. No, I, I, what what's really happening is everybody's taking their turn. Like everybody knows Bro, when eight everybody's years? dropping. <laughs> no, but for real, everybody knows when everybody's dropping. Everybody wasn't gonna drop last week or last week. Everybody wasn't going to drop last year because of the whole coronavirus thing. So um, they had to push their shit back. And now they had to rearrange. Stop making excuses for this nigga. No, like, just hear me out. They had to rearrange on who's who's dropping when. So first, is one of the three-headed dragons is J. Cole. So he's dropping. Uh, he dropped that off-season shit. Drake is dropping next. He ended up announcing that uh certified lover boy is going to be dropping at the end of the summertime and they say the best thing for last so um it's been it's been like five or six years bro since we heard anything from kendrick probably a little bit longer than that um drake has dropped multiple albums already since that time i've heard oh, that like so has cole i've heard that he's done like he's his expectations is so high that no if, it, if they were he wouldn't that, fucking talk about a rock album no i'm saying his expectations are so high that it's possible that he might not even drop another album. He might just do features for the rest of his life. I seen that comment somewhere. I forget where, but because he can't do it no more, he can't. He don't have it in him. He he outdid himself. No, with, with what? His music, bro. Like he got some. He got some heat. I don't know. We listen to the same artist, but two good albums. Yeah, that's yep, it. I. <laughs> Nah, bro. He got two good albums album. from start to finish. That's it. Have you have you listened to his albums? Yeah. Have you listened, have you listened to OD? Yep. Overly dedicated. Not start to finish. Couldn't do it. <laughs> you don't have a soul. You're lucky I'm giving them two albums, though. Shit. <laughs> What's it, what, all right. So, Damn is one of them, and what was the other one? Yeah. Uh, good Kid, Mad City. All right. Beautiful album. I got that shit right there on the vinyl. Oh, nice. Do you got a favorite album from him, Frankie? From Kendrick? I don't want to make this a Kendrick a Kendrick segment, but yeah. But we're doing what it. What is your favorite I... song by Kendrick, Frankie? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think really, he knows Kendrick Lamar. That's how that's how long it's been since he dropped music. Levitate. That's a good song. No, no, no. Like your favorite, like, do you like his albums? Have you ever listened to his oh, albums? Yeah. Yeah, uh, the untitled one. I like that one. I think that's a mixtape, actually. Really? That's that was just a throwaway. I like that one though. And you like that one? 
I rest my case. What is that? What, what the fuck does that mean? A throwaway album Frankie loves. I didn't say I loved it. I said I liked <laughs> he it. He said he loves. He said he'll do. If there was five albums he could take, if he was a band on the island, who says it's a throwaway? He said it was a throwaway. So it obviously yeah. wasn't a throwaway though, because he's put it out. But it was a I mean, mixtape. That's it, the only time. No, that's the only way was, I discovered Kendrick because it was on an unreleased platform. It, mm. it was it, it was a throwaway album because uh, he gave. I listened to it on gave, SoundCloud. He gave this song to uh, to LeBron or whatever, and LeBron was working out, so he was like, "Yo, Kendrick, you gotta drop this shit." And then oh, it was like, "Yo, it's, I'm just not even an album. It's just like a bunch of throwaways that I have from to, to Paper Butterfly." And so me and LeBron up, James got the b- same taste. Cool. So, so LeBron James ended up getting with him, and they just formed that together real quick, and that came out and called it Untitled. Un- un- Untitled, unmastered, and I got that shit on vinyl too. I got that shit signed. Nice. So, yeah, no, that shit's cool. And uh, my dog Tyler, the creator, he is officially starting his rollout. They had this, uh, I think it's this one tweet that uh, you call this number in a voice memo of his mom, and Tyler will be uh, playing his his voice or whatever. They're gonna be talking, but. Uh, just a little start up to to the to his next album. His last album, I think, was DJ Khaled. Like DJ Khaled called it "Mysterious Music," but that shit was. I think that shit was classic. Yeah, y'all, y'all don't fuck with Tyler the Creator, right? No. Nah. I fuck with Mr. Rochelle though. It's Pride Month, y'all. It's Pride Month. What's that mean? Tyler the Creator is allegedly gay. Is he still dating Will Smith's son? I don't think he's gay. Well, whatever. Jaden? Ty, Ty the creator. But oh. I, I mean, whatever. Um, Dave season two is out on FX June 16th. And uh, I can't wait for that shit. Wow, that we're getting this before Atlanta season John. three. But whatever. Uh, <clears throat> Rachel wanted to talk about Loki. But oh, nice. Rachel's not here. Oh, yeah, it was straight. First episode was kind of weird, wacky, but. Yeah, I like that shit. I do. The Marvel stuff. Yeah. Ozzy, you like, you like Loki? No, I'm, I don't know what that is. All right, cool. I got, I'm glad I'm not the only one, but. All right. Yeah, well, I mean, I see it when I turn my fire stick, but I'm not interested in watching that shit. I feel like all that like, shit is just like. It's actually pretty straight, if you know about the comics. You don't like Marvel? Yeah, but drop an Avengers movie. There, this is the build-up <laughs> to the movie. Yeah, I'll, just, Waldo. I'll just watch the movie then. That's fine. You're going to be so lost, man. <laughs> Where's my glasses? I'll watch it twice Yo. then, nigga. <laughs> so, so, I mean, I know this is late in the episode and whatnot, and most of it, like, only the true fans will really listen to this, but... Uh, Rachel will be a part of the show. Some things did come up, and she just got to take care of a little this and a little of that. But um, uh, she she was like, if, if anything, I, I hope y'all are cool with us going over some some nerdy shit or whatnot. I was like, I mean, just as long as we make it interesting, I don't I don't really care. And uh, she was like, yeah. So like, everybody's talking about that Loki thing and. Uh, I was, and to be honest, I don't, I don't really find superheroes fascinating, but I told her I'm an anomaly, an ano- anomaly, an anomaly, whatever. Uh, that I, <laughs> so whatever, reader. Uh, I'm not common. So like, typically, men love superheroes. Men like would do anything to to get a Sunday off to watch football, and I'm just, I'm just me. Like, I, 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 like yeah, I, that doesn't fascinate me. So, if, if as long as you make it interesting, I mean, that, that's all that matters. And I, I wasn't sure if y'all, if you, y'all like Loki. I'm a nerd, fish. bro. Yeah, I know. I, I, I knew you would love it, but yeah. I don't like the way you said uh, that. Malice behind your voice. You know how to spell malice? <laughs> yeah. M A L I C E. Um, 
little little tragic news just uh just real quick uh we just want i, I well i just want to send a, a a prayer out to the uh austin or send prayers out to austin because they they had a shooting like a mass shooting uh at least 14 were injured and uh it's been five years since uh, the Pulse nightclub shooting. And that, that was a nightclub that was in Orlando. And uh, I was that wasn't in Texas. No, 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 no. That was in Orlando, Florida. And uh, that was the time 72 victims ended up losing their lives. And mm. That was like that. That was like a, a a gay club, and like just a random person just went up there and just shot up everybody. And I I know uh, one of my good friends, her cousin works works at that place, and fortunately he he didn't work that night, but he knew a lot of people that that worked there and visited there, and uh, just a a wild scenario. So. Um, just prayers up to all those people. And, um, actually that place is, is a museum exhibition right now. So, um, if you want to just like pay homage and everything, there's also that place that you go visit and shit, but, um, yeah. Joe Rogan. Nice. Joe Rogan gets dissed in LA with a chemtrail spelling. Joe Rogan is literally five foot three. And uh, that was that was trending on, I was trending online for some reason. But people have a lot of money for some reason. Uh, and uh, his last episode was 166 or 1,666, and he opened up with like a a demonic opening, and that made me intrigued on like what are we doing for episode to spice it up <laughs> no like oh are, are are we paying attention to that A- episode 666 are we just skipping it mm, we could do like call the candy man or something in your bathroom or something or bloody mary what what do you think ozzy i don't know i don't i didn't think about that shit because <laughs> on, on elevators most times they don't have a 13th floor all the time yeah all the time they don't have a 13th floor because it's superstition for real yeah they, it just skips ain't no tall buildings where you at boy huh there ain't no tall building over here <laughs> tallest building is three tall, tall mansion tallest I mean, building is so- walmart nigga <laughs> Bro, I went in an elevator in Lehigh. I was like, bro, I'm in an elevator in Lehigh. This is what an elevator looks like. But anyways, <laughs> um, I don't know. I think we could always skip that episode. I don't see the problem with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. We That's can do whatever true, we want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dog, we can literally do whatever we want, dog. <laughs> All right. Let, let's get let's get to the brains and guts. Uh, UFC 263, yo. Let's start off with motherfucking Paul. Or you want to start off with Paul Gray and, and Jamal Hill? That nigga broke his motherfucking arm. Dog. How many times? Like oh five times. God, dog. His elbow was in the front, <laughs> dog. This shit was right here, dog. Just fucking. Oh, my God. That shit was so beautiful, dog. Jesus. Did, did you watch the whole fight? Yeah. Yeah. And It was, it, it was fast. Yeah, and that nigga's jujitsu was crazy, bro. That's what it boiled down to, bro. He oh was switching God. submissions, switching submissions. Then he turned him when he turned him, his arm just said doop, and he just kept twisting that shit. I was like, what the fuck? And the referee God. just looks at him like, you want to tap out? He's like, I can't operate my hands. Like <laughs> his fucking arm was fucking <laughs> flopping everywhere and shit. The ref was like, oh, you're good, you're good. Oh, Fight back. You're hitting him. I guess. I guess that was fighting back. That bro, shit was fucking gruesomely awesome, dog. Hope and that dude's okay, it, bro. But fuck, I think his shit's broken, torn. His shit is fucked up, dog. Did the ref get fired? 
I hope so, though. I think it's, yeah. he, won't, he won't ever ref again. <laughs> he was a volunteer, probably. You can that see that shot. shit. Bro, if you see him on like facing down and his arm is folded towards his back, it's probably and, broken, bro. And like he's being treated like a dummy. Like he has no control and getting fucking hammers to see, his the head. Guy, Paul Craig was like, yo, his arm's broken. Right, right. Like and he just said, he fuck like, it, keep he, going. He's a soldier for for uh or he's a trooper for staying in there. It's like he had no other option, yo. You had like, him fucking wrapped around a neck. <laughs> he oh, couldn't man. move. Bro. That shit was fucking nice, bro. Fuck, I love that. Song. Nice. <laughs> it was a great opening. A great opening. Yeah. Uh, were the prelims in any special, or did you uh, did you not? Catch yeah, they was all right. They weren't. They weren't that crazy. I was watching that shit since six o'clock, nigga. Damn. That shit was all right. It wasn't too nothing, nothing too crazy. It wasn't nothing to be like. Should, should we just get to Nate Diaz? Yeah, dog. Leon Edwards, Leon Edwards Nate Diaz. Fuck right. them first four rounds, nigga. That last 50 seconds of the fight. Uh-oh. That nigga Nate Diaz, boy. That's why we love to watch that nigga. He came through, <laughs> hit him with a big left. Yeah, hit him with a big left. I think he fucked up because after you hit him with that left, he rocked him and he just started pointing at him, laughing and shit. Yeah. I think he should have rushed closed. Him. He could have yeah, closed. That should have been fire, dog. Yo, but if, like if you watch that slow motion, you see he slapped him with the right hand. Yeah. Closed his eyes and just down. Hit him yeah, right stocked and slap, dog. That, that shit's shit for real. Was... <laughs> I mean, but not, not to take nothing away from Leon Edwards because he did fight a good ass fight. He was out yeah. there piecing him up, fucking him up, slicing with the elbows and all that shit. But. Everybody just gonna remember what Nate Diaz did. Literally, Though everything was just irrelevant. People thought he could have won because of that shit. <laughs> now, now Nate Diaz, he typically knocks out motherfuckers, y'all. Why didn't he submits, go for the finish? Mainly, he submits mainly. Mm. Oh, well, he goes crazy. Yeah, he does though. He, Why he didn't does... he go crazy at the last minute? I mean, well, he hasn't fought up. in like three years. He's is that, is that he's old, bro. He's old. He ain't moving like that. Leon Man. Edwards in his prime, nigga. He ain't Nate Diaz ain't never been fast to move like that. So, but. so you you think he was overwhelmed with that that he got one one lucky punch? No, I just think he was really tired, dog. Yeah, but it was to, it was dumb. Edwards. He probably didn't know how much time was on the clock. Who'd be real with you? Cause he should never point it, but that's Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz is a taunting ass nigga. So he did that shit right after too, bro. Let's yeah, he he game. did that shit too, but he just pointed at him. They like, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> I, all right, the way that I seen it, yo, I seen two fighters that had a bunch of respect for each other. They knew what they were getting themselves into. Nate Diaz was so unorthodox with all of his technique like he always does like he just was playing mind games with him like like facing his back towards him and just doing random shit just to keep his 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 style different and fucking as edwards was just like on top he was like a robot just calculating every move that he was doing was, and every was move slow, was him perfect like every everything was perfect that he was doing i was it, it was beautiful um, the idea is slow as fuck, though. Yeah. Um, I just, man, yeah. I, I, I just by, by the end of, of the of the fifth round, you just look at Edwards and you look at Nate Diaz, and you already know who's gonna win. Well, Nate Diaz bleeds quick. Uh, they got scar Diaz. tissue. I, they, they say that all the time, but no, yeah. because that's what it is. You know, I, I, yeah. You got scar tissue. You got scar tissue. No, right? <laughs> you can't, you, so you can't relate. So you don't know what the fuck. I can't relate, but you can't any hit, bro, this. any hit, he gets split open. Literally. Literally. Did you look at his knee? His knee was fucked up. His, his knee or his calf? Up. The calf kicks you know. talking about? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. His fucking knee was, uh, I don't know if his knee or his calf, that shit was destroyed. His fucking the side of his head was destroyed. His fucking 
uh, eyelash or his eyebrow was destroyed. Like he, but he Nate was, looks like that after every fight, bro. I get it, but when you look at the other fighter, what was the story with him? And then what would it? What would it that that shit don't. It, it, yeah, but it don't matter. Look, he wasn't destroyed at all. All it took was one punch. But I don't remember nothing. Fucking one Leon punch, Edwards did. Fight one punch. I don't I remember. Mean, you could knock somebody rushed. out in one punch, nigga. He could have, but he didn't. Yeah, but I don't remember nothing Leon Edwards did. So I remember what just that last bit of the fight because that shit was whack. That's why Leon. I, Edwards, I, I, I seen it as a, he was. A that's why Leon player. Edwards don't get TV time, dog, because he's fucking boring, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he needed a fight. He needed to fight Nate Diaz for real because everybody loves Nate Diaz, and uh, everybody's uh, everybody watches Nate Diaz, dog. So. I was just fascinated. I, I was fascinated with like the way he operated. And how well calculated he did everything, but yeah, I I, I could see I could see your point on how how boring that would be. Uh, man, that, that that makes me think of the Jake Paul shit calling out this guy for UFC taking all all the money or whatever. Anyways, all right, Brandon Moreno. That nigga did his thing. Die putting off for the fucking Mexicans, yo. Um, he won his fight against uh, what was that dude's name? Say it. What? Say his name. I, I died to be honest. I didn't write his. I didn't write his name down. It's like but Figueredo. It, but 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 it was a yeah fi, yeah Figueredo. It it was a a rematch from from what was it like last month's fight or something like that. Two weeks ago, I think. No, oh, two weeks ago? Two, no, man, that show was like three, four months ago. That's awesome. Y'all niggas is tripping. But uh, but yeah, it was a really good fight. First uh, first Mexican champion on on UFC, correct? First born and ra- like born Mexican, and because there's been Mexican representatives, but born here in America. I got you. I got That's you. the first Mexican. Uh, Mexican born, you said right? Yeah. 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 And then uh to wrap it up, Aaron Carter ended up getting KO'd by the I didn't even I, I didn't even know they were fighting, but I seen the shit and I was like, what the fuck? Aaron Carter? The yeah. dude that was shoving a dildo up his ass, bro, for real. Wait, what? Oh word, you didn't know about that? Aaron Carter put out a video like a month ago of him putting something up his butt. All right. <laughs> no, I didn't hear that. Uh, but that's wild. Uh, he just, got KO'd by Lamar Odom. He got really embarrassing. Got KO'd really by a crackhead. Crazy. That's crazy. They're both crackheads. Yeah. Why did he decide to get in a in a? Box they need money song? for that crack. Wow! Wow! Yeah, it, it was just. Did you see the headgears they had on, bro? <laughs> yeah. It was like was patted confused. around their nose. <laughs> so they don't confused. break their shit. Uh, and to be honest, it was better than that, week. that Logan Paul fight, though. You think so? Did you we didn't get into talk? it, but I, I think we could spend a lot of time on that. But no, I'm straight on that. That's, that, that, just, that's what I'm saying. At the end that of the day, was ass. yeah, yeah, you think it was ass. I think it was rigged, but I mean, who's gonna put all their fight? I mean, all their might into an exhibition at the end of the day. He did. Floyd did. You think? Yeah, he was trying to knock him out. Nah, he could have been knocked him out. He's a YouTube star. You he couldn't put him away, bro. That's embarrassing. No, it Professional an boxing. It was an exhibition. Like he could have easily, like Jake. Paul Floyd made them rules for like, a reason, dog. Because what know, if that nigga would have lost? They they had a they had a thing that you can't knock it. I think you couldn't knock each other out. You can't knock each other out, but there was no win, no losses. Floyd made the rules, bro. Uh, Floyd was definitely trying to knock that nigga out. He's just too big. And what 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 if Jake Paul was to tell him that if I win, you get all like you get all my boxing royalties for the rest of my life, but I I get still sponsorship and shit like that. Like they can make a deal like that. But that's why I think it's possible. Uh, but uh, investment of the week, I don't really think. I don't think y'all, y- y'all want to continue hearing about my, my AMC trip, but I keep getting fucking money on AMC. 
Can you hear that? What? Can you hear that? The buzzing? Yeah, my, my phone key's ringing. Damn. Um, hold on, hold on. You want to wrap it up? Are you farting? Um, no. <laughs> no, my, my phone key's ringing. Uh, investment of the week. I know you're tired of hearing about my AMC going up and shit like that. Uh, I don't know what 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 y'all really what y'all got for investment of the week. Y'all, y'all got anything? Save your money. Save the money. Hold the line. Hold hold the line. Okay. Uh, yeah. What you watching? It's a fight. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, but for real, uh, crypto is down, and I've been learning a lot of shit, and they're saying that Bitcoin is going to be skyrocketing because it ended up just getting, uh, ended up being approved, and, and what was it? El Salvador and, and a few South American countries as, as uh, official currency, so... I mean, if y'all want to look more into it, if y'all like day trading and shit like that, definitely a hustle. But other than that, I think we're going to get out of here. Uh, hopefully, uh, we, 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 I think I think I'm trying to get a guest pretty soon. Uh, I, I've been trying to reach out to somebody, but uh, hopefully that comes into fruition pretty soon. Other than that, y'all got anything else to tell the people? Nah, uh, enjoy your week. <laughs> Hope you guys do good. <laughs> uh, What's up with that fight? <laughs> oh, look at his ass. But look, I'm gonna show you how it started. This little nigga, he tried to sneak his ass. Look, see how he tried to sneak him? And like he fell over. Sleep, 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 sleep. <laughs> look, look, look what he say at the end, what? What? <laughs> Sons in four, he said. Sons in four. Sons in four. <laughs> 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 Dog, what the fuck? Oh my god, whooped his ass. He fucked him up. That what he gave with his stupid ass trying to sneak somebody. And growing out his hair. Yeah, that shit was fucking sons and four. Man. So, hey, you not four. like gosh. That sucks that you don't that you don't land the first punch. That's a sucker punch <laughs> too, yo. Yeah, yeah. Like who the fuck? <laughs> The other dude was looking at him the whole time though, so it was it was like weird. Man. He's like, I'm put this in my pocket, then I'm gonna sneak his ass. Do you see how many punches he threw too? Like if he would, he thought he was gonna make contact with the first one for real. He was far as fuck too. Though. <laughs> nah, Damn, I was thinking about it, y'all. Fuck. Yeah, I'm too nice, y'all. I'm gonna be picking fights for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't think I'm too nice? Yeah, I'll just say I'll just say I'm too nice all the time. No. Mm-hmm. Should have you went to go. Should have fought that one. I would have. I would have throw my meat stick. Uh huh. I got these cookies. Go to that CVS. Go find a crackhead. I gotta blur that shit out, yo. Yeah, oh damn! <laughs> that's how I was like. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So we're gonna get up out of here before we say anything else. All right, y'all. Uh, we'll catch y'all next week. <laughs> Peace in the Middle East. Let it rain in Spain. We out. Boom. Yeah. <laughs>